Hello, this is David from David Books and Comics, and today I'm going to show you the Black Samurai. And the Black Samurai series was written by uh, Mark Olden. It's a series of eight books. This is one of Mark Olden's early ventures. Uh, the Black Samurai is Robert Sand, the incarnation of an ancient Japanese samurai uh, from the uh, samurai period, 1600s, I think, named Sendayu. He is trained in the martial arts in Japan and then comes to America to wrest justice against international criminals and terrorists. He is hired uh, by an ex-U.S. president to work for his secret organization. The stories are fast-paced adventures, and the sixth book in the series, which I'll show, The Warlock, was made into a martial arts movie uh, with uh, Jim Kelly. Uh, Jim Kelly of uh, Enter the Dragon fame with Bruce Lee and John Saxon. So this series first appeared in 1973 in the height of the Kung Fu movie craze. It features a powerful martial artist uh, trained in the ancient art of sword fighting, or kendo. As I said, his name is Robert Sand. According to the stories, Sand is a reincarnation of Sandayu, an ancient Japanese samurai from the glory days of the samurai warriors of Japan's past. Robert Sand is uh, a Jim Kelly type of character as popularized in the Bruce Lee movie, Enter the Dragon. The concept for the series was the uh, brainchild of a African-American writer named Mark Olden. Uh, Olden, of course, won, I believe, the Edgar Award for one of his, uh, one of his novels. I can't remember which. He uh, would later go on to, to write a, a highly successful series of mystery novels with oriental themes. In these novels, Sand is a kind of soldier for hire who is helped along in his adventures by a former U.S. president whose name is William Baron Clark. This ex-president has a vast network of secret servicemen who are constantly on the vigil for any kind of terrorist activities, both domestically and abroad. So the uh, film version of Warlock, and you can see it from the poster, was uh, actually a copy of the exact plot of the uh, sixth book in the series. And I'll show it to you in a little bit. Sand's origins are atypical in that he is discovered uh, by Clark uh, when he wreaks vengeance on the people who murdered his beloved sensei in a secret uh, conclave in Japan. And that's in the first novel. The, believe it or not, but the uh, person who's standing as the model for that uh, cover is Steve Holland, who, uh, and in this one, I believe, who figured in many of the um, covers of men's action adventure books, um, as has subsequently been revealed. Anyway, so Sand's origins are atypical. Uh, he's discovered uh, by Clark when, and when he wreaks his vengeance uh, on the people who murdered his sensei. Uh, on his adventure, Sand always carries his samurai sword. It's called a katana in the mode of the uh, Japanese samurai. This motif is a little out of place in the counter-espionage realm of today, but nonetheless effective for this very fast-paced series. So it's a fun series to read for the action scenes and the samurai in the, in the modern age kind of uh, setting. The uh, ex-US president, is modeled after uh, Lyndon Johnson, actually, if you read between the lines. Anyway, so I'll show you through the books and we'll have a, a deep dive at the, at the contents of the book so you can see what the books are all about. So this is the first book in the series. It's called Black Samurai. Great new series. It's from Signet. 
in Mark Olden. And this is the first edition from 1974. So there you go. And this is number two, The Golden Kill. And this is the first from 1974, Signet. Number two, Faded Spine, Slight Spine Roll. This one's a nice copy, Killer Warrior. And there you have Robert Sand, Black Samurai, knew that saving New York from atomic destruction was close to Mission Impossible, even for him. Ranged against him were mostly rich Japanese murder master, a Fiendish-French connection, who could deliver a diabolical doomsday device in a vast army of trained killers led by an axe-wielding savage warrior who lusted for revenge. So, and this is the first from 1974. Nice tight copy. Number three, The Killer Warrior. This is the uh, fourth in the series. It's called Deadly Pearl. It's the best copy I could find so far. Um, and Mark Olden. It's you could argue it's kind of a black exploitation. Uh, it certainly came out in that time period of uh, black exploitation films. And this is the fifth book in the series. This is called The Inquisition. Trial by Terror, Dessalines was black, bloodthirsty and insane, and he was the head of the Inquisition, a terrorist organization sworn to wipe out the rich, the law enforcement, the establishment, anyone who got in their way. Swift and deadly, they seemed to be unstoppable. All right, the Inquisition. Interesting. The next book in the series was made into a film. It's called The Warlock, The Plot of the Story. And the cover art was actually used in the poster of the film. The artist, let's see if it says, I'm not sure, it may be George Wilson, but I am not certain. It looks to be the cover art of, uh, cover artwork of George Wilson. And this is a nice tight first edition copy, paperback original, number six, The Warlock. This is number seven in the series. Satanic Steamroller. Politics can make sinister allies, but never was there a more deadly combination than an Arab terrorist group backed by billions in oil money and a right-wing organization masterminded by a U.S. senator. It's sort of all up. Okay. So that's number seven in the series. And this is actually the first book I ever bought. And I bought it off the rack way back when, when it first came out as a cracked spine. It's called the Katana. It was created centuries ago by the greatest of craftsmen in the, or the emperor of Japan, a fabulous sword with a blade of gold and a hilt of blood red rubies. Robert San, the black samurai, learned to revere this wondrous weapon from the oriental master who taught him the martial arts. And now San was stirred to a savage pitch of rage. He had never known before the idea of the katana in the diabolically evil hands that had stolen it. Okay, so that's number eight in the series, and that's the final of the uh, Black Samurai. As I said, the Black Samurai was made into a film, and it used uh, the cover of this book as the poster cover art for the film. That's the Warlock. And it featured uh, Jim Kelly. Jim Kelly uh, died, I believe, in his 60s, not too long ago. Same with Mark Olden. He wasn't that old when he died. I believe it was in his 60s. And uh, Jim Kelly made a series of films, I think the most famous of which was a film called, well, it was Enter the Dragon with Bruce Lee and John Saxon back in 1973. It was released. Uh, posthumously, because Bruce Lee had died at that point. And then um, Black Belt Jones came out. That was uh, the second film that uh, made him famous. And then uh, Black Samurai, a lesser-known 
a movie uh, came and it featured uh, a Jim Kelly in the lead role. The uh, cover art for the poster was this one, and you'll see it. Uh, I'll, I'll attach it uh, here, and you'll see some scenes from the actual film, which was all action, all martial arts, and uh, just an odd, oddball film, rare in its time, and uh, currently rare, but I think it's available on YouTube. If you look carefully, you might find it. All right, so thanks for... Uh, watching this and uh, feel free to make your comments it's um it's always good to hear from uh, people who are viewing uh, my channel and remember to give me that like that thumbs up it always makes the uh, helps the channel all right thanks bye